Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything and say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Scum. Now today the game got updated and as per usual I'm going to go through the update and give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions on it. Now it's a pretty big update so let's get right into it. Now the first thing that has been added is this so-called kill box. Now what is this kill box you ask? Well, apparently it's a room that has been added to bunkers all around the map. And it has loot in it, military grade loot. But in order to get this military grade loot, oh, it's gonna be a pain. Now, first things first, you're gonna have to find yourself one of these keycards. Every keycard opens up a different bunker. For example, this one opens up the kill box in bunker C3. Now, once we open up this room, we're gonna have 15 minutes in order to open the doors pretty much there are a couple of doors we're gonna have to open them up now when the timer reaches two minutes the kill box is gonna start to fill with deadly poisonous gas which we can of course withstand if we have this here brand new gas mask if you take a look at it this is the gas mask if you go into first person it looks like this we have the little uh, things around our eyes and it's pretty cool, it looks very, very cool. I really like the way it looks, it's very nice. But let's get back to the kill box, right? So the gas comes at two minutes. Now, in there, there's military grade loot. We have 15 minutes to pick it up, right? But check this out. All weapon lockers across the map are now locked and need to be locked picked. Apparently this, this will decrease the amount of military grade loot available all around. And they are saying that it's going to increase the segment of survivability, of the survival portion of the game. I don't really think so, but we'll get into that later. Now, the chambers. There are a couple of new, a couple of chambers in the kill box. And they are locked, but not with actual locks, but with mag magnetic locks, right? These are going to be... That we're going to have to open them with the bomb defusal minigame. Right, we're gonna have to cut the wires or whatever. But if we fail, of course, we'll be punished, probably death. But once we're inside, we're gonna find locked cabinets. And these locked cabinets are gonna have are gonna have loot in them. Now there are several types of cabinets. Now there are cabinets with one rusty lock. These are gonna offer us SMGs, two rusty locks, assault rifles, one silver lock is gonna be the cabinet with sniper rifles, and one golden lock is gonna give us the 100% chance of receiving a C4. That is right, we're gonna be able to have C4s. Let's see if we can bring out a, a C4 out here. C4, oh god, there you go. This is it, C4 bomb. Now this is going to be the ultimate weapon they're saying for base raiding. This is gonna destroy everything. We're gonna put it down, I don't know how to Use it, let's say. It's gonna. Do I, how do I do this? A. Eh? Just put it on the ground. And arm trap. How much time though? Okay, it's beeping. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, there we go, about 10 seconds. Now this C4 is gonna be the ultimate weapon for destroying bases apparently. Now when we find this one in the kill chamber, well, it's gonna be armed and we're gonna have to defuse it. If we can't, we're gonna blow up. So that is pretty much how the the, the kill box works. Find the key card, go to the certain bunker that the key card mentions, like this one, it says that it activates the kill box in C3. In the, in the kill box, 15 minutes to open up some doors uh, with a bomb defusing minigame. And then you go in and you have to lockpick the cabinets that have weapons and ammunition and whatnot. Now since there's gonna be so much lockpicking around, a new screwdriver has been uh, added into, the, into this here video game. And it is not this one. It is this one, the small screwdriver. It has five uses. This one right over here is gonna be used. I mean, we're gonna. It's gonna be more common around the map. Apparently, it's not gonna be like this. This other one that this with 40 uses is gonna have a uh, five uses. Now, base building. Oh, base building has been totally 
changed up now there are it's been compared to revamped so everything looks different now right so if you want to build yourself let's say a wooden door look it looks I can build all the wooden doors hold on a wooden wall right if we go ahead and place this wooden wall right it looks like this now it doesn't look with the weird logs this makes they're saying that it looks more survivalish and more like it it belongs on a deserted island now the cool thing is that there are three dif different walls we can build wooden walls these ones barbed walls with basic engineering and metal walls with medium engineering now turns out you have to start with the wooden wall you can't just straight up build metal walls you build this one and then you press f and then you can apparently you can upgrade it i don't see the option here unfortunately so oh it's because probably i can't upgrade it because i don't have engineering but it says that you have to start with these because if we take a look down here you don't see the metal ones or the barbed ones so you start with this and then you upgrade it i'm assuming i can do it because i don't have the engineering skill all right so this is the basic wooden wall and then you can upgrade this wall so you can upgrade it to a barbed wire wall and it looks like that you can upgrade i guess every piece there you go and upgrade and then right so you're gonna have to start from wood and then you're gonna you're gonna be going right up and this is the one with barbed wire and then you can upgrade it to the max level i guess which is this sweet metal one and look at this it's got spikes and stuff on it pretty cool yeah it looks it looks nice it looks way better than the old ones now another new item has been added and it is the workbench is this floating machinery right over here now the workbench is exactly it's pretty much exactly like the drill press if we go over here we can examine it and this is we use this to pretty much make suppressors and make rails and whatnot so this is going to be used as the drill press and also bunk beds have been added into the game it's just just some beds not gonna really go into that now light sources because night times are extremely dark we have two new light sources and those are the portable work light let's see if we can get one out here i don't know how to type hold on the portable work light and then we have the gas lantern so that's pretty cool all right portable work light lantern right over here two new light sources we turn this on and we are guaranteed to get murdered right in the face pretty cool not too shabby at all now this one oh <laughs> this one is great can i can i throw it by any chance can't throw it cannot throw it unfortunately two new light sources right there also we have ourselves the chainsaw the chainsaw has been added into the game the chainsaw also needs fuel in order to work you can start it up with r we don't have fuel is that is that it we don't we need some fuel is this work like the car let's see if it works like the car add fuel take this in our hands and we press r and this is the chainsaw it's pretty damn loud but check this out the chainsaw, when you use the chainsaw on a tree, you're gonna get more logs than when you use the axe. So if you use the axe, you get, let's say, four logs. But if we use the chainsaw, we're gonna get more logs. Now, how do I... How do I use it? Do we just... Do we just... Oh, oh there we go. I saw it. Um, hey, stop it. Okay, and then F to cut down the tree. I was like, how do I just bash it against the tree? And we get a ton of lugs right here. Now, the question is... Question is... 
Now the question <laughs> The question is Okay, yeah, yep It works against the zombies as well. Can I throw it? Nope, cannot throw the chainsaw. Pretty cool. Now will battles have also been added into the video game. We have improvised will battles, which I can apparently not craft, and then we have the normal will battles that have been just added around the world. Now the improvised wooden will battle, which you can craft with basic something. What is this? This engineering what is this survival or something? I don't know. We, you can craft it, right? But it has less health and less inventory space. Now I was trying to bring one out here. Oh, it's vehicle, I think. We can is sorted as a vehicle. Let me see. Yes, it is as a <laughs> So this is considered a vehicle because you can of course get in this year. In this year will battle. This is the new update, everybody. It's the new update. New update, everybody. Wheel barrels. And you can also push it around. If I can bring back the HUD. You can push it. Not like the... How do we drive? Okay, there we go. So you can... You can drive it. And yes, somebody can be in the front. And blast people and you can be in the back pushing it And no, I'm not gonna be able to do that because I don't have people to play with I don't have any friends. Okay. I thought it also had inventory space Apparently not, but I, I'm guessing we can just Take things and put them Can I do this? No, what the hell is this? The wheelbarrow is supposed to carry things. What? Where's we got a chainsaw? Eh? And we also have a couple of new items. We have short cargo pants. We have a couple of new boots. We have some new work pants. Uh, we also have a couple of new jersey jackets. Just some clothes. Some electrician gloves so we don't electrocute ourselves. Some medical gloves. Uh, safety goggles. And also some earmuffs. So yeah, we've gotten ourselves a pretty solid update. The kill box, that's not gonna be for me because... It's just a pain, right? So if the robots don't kill me, most definitely a mine or some sort of an explosive that is planted in the bunker will kill me, right? Let's say I make it past the robot, past the buried or hidden mines, and I get to the kill box, I'm not gonna be able to open up the doors because I don't have that much experience with... Uh, with uh, with the, the defusing minigame and then let's say I get past the defusing minigame then I'm gonna have to lockpick my way into some some locked gun containers that's not gonna be uh, we're also gonna i'm gonna have to find screwdrivers we're also gonna have the key card we're also gonna have to find the lock picks right and then use all of those and let's say i do that i get past the robot i guess i get past the hidden explosives i go into the kill box i i open the doors i lock pick the 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 lockers with the weapons and I get out. When I get out, I 100% guarantee that somebody's gonna be waiting for me. It's gonna dome me right in the forehead, and it's gonna get all the loot that I've been trying to uh, to get. But that's just that's probably I'm 100% guaranteeing that that's gonna be my experience. Probably gonna be great for everybody else, but not for me. But it's a pretty solid update. A ton of new things that we can mess around with. So yeah. That's about it for today. I hope everybody enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out. And I will see you in the next one with some more video games.